Eastern Michigan. The Eastern Michigan Eagles, 7-6 and six last year, 6-3 and three in the MAC. Got five returning starters on offense, three on defense. Head coach, Chris Creighton, that's my guy. Yeah. I love this guy. He, he can rebuild programs. Like, Eastern Michigan was a dumpster fire before he got there. Uh, he's insanely underrated. He, even though he's 22-40 and 40 in five years, I mean, he took Eastern Michigan to a bowl game last year. That's right. He, he, they went on the road and beat Purdue. He, he has found a way to be able to win some ball games here. Uh, defense led the MAC with 22.1 points per game, 353.8 yards per game. And the pass defense, uh, 150.2 points per game. Uh, sorry. 152 yards per game. Uh, only three starters back on defense, though. This team is tough. They are physical. They are nasty. They are well coached. Uh, quarterback Mike Glass, he was second in the MAC in passing efficiency last year. I think that says a lot about this team. They don't take major league risks. They they're not going to beat themselves. No. And in a conference like this, that will get you six, seven wins. I got them going seven and five again. Again, yep. Um, I, they're four and four in conference this year for me. I mean, they they got some tough games, but I love this team. They are disciplined and they are nasty. So I got them five and three in conference, but I still got them six and six. That's I reasonable. A, I flipped a couple of coins, and and they could easily end up seven and five. Um, that that there's just a a couple of teams I like better that we'll get to. Yeah, and and it's it's literally coin flips, man. The difference between them, Northern Illinois, Toledo. And even Western Michigan, I, I I lump those four. I just think those four. We covered the two teams that I think are in the bottom of this part, this division. I think the other four teams, I don't know. They all play a different style of ball. Yeah. But wins and losses, I think all four of these, if you played a round robin a hundred times, I think you'd come up with a hundred different scenarios. If if he goes six and six or seven and five again, mm-hmm. he should be up for a, a bigger job, right? I mean, I don't know. I mean, maybe not a Power 5 job, but, like, an American job. Like, Rod Carey got the Temple job. Like, I, I think that what he has done at Eastern Michigan... Oh, no, it's is, remarkable. ...is absolutely remarkable. It is completely underrated. Well, and here's the thing. If if he can somehow win all of those coin flips, win all three of them... Yeah. And, and I mean, you sweep, go eight and four, and nine sweep and three. this division. Yeah, now you turn that in from a six and six or a seven and five to, yeah... There's a big difference between that and eight and four or nine and three. I mean, that's a that's a crazy difference. Yeah, at no. which point you start getting a lot of people's attention. And the fact, but that he should already have their attention anyway. Be- because I think all four of these teams, I kind of lump them together. I I think it that means he can win this division. Yeah, I absolutely think he can win it. Do I have him winning it? No. But does that mean he can't? Oh no, I think they absolutely can win this division. 